Hi all. I hope everyone is staying safe, staying healthy, and staying at home, and staying creative. I figured I'd take this time to share with you what I've been up to and what I'm doing, and uh, take you around my home studio. I'm very grateful that I have my home studio. I'm sure that you probably wish that you had something similar too. Sorry, but I'm gonna show you around, all right? Uh, I'm gonna start with, um, my kiln and I just uh, opened it up from a firing yesterday. Uh, hopefully it's not pinging too much. Um, but I'm gonna turn this around and I'll show you what my kiln looks like. And you can see it's kind of small. It's a little smaller than, it's a lot smaller than the one that we have at the studio actually. Uh, but it does me okay and I can do, I'm doing mugs actually. Um, so some of the things I've been working on have been with animal prints. And you can see, that's pretty cool, huh? That's a paper uh, transfer. Um, and I took the opportunity to kind of do some underglaze animal print. This one I love. Um, you can see, that's kind of cool. And um, some other ones on the top shelf here. This is, uh, if you're wondering, Norse blue with birch on top and um, a Mako that we haven't had called Fool's Gold. It's a lot like cosmic tea dust, only brown instead of like black gray. I'd have to get this for the studio. Anyhow, so that's my kiln. I'm gonna take you around to my wheel and where all the magic happens. My wheel is very similar. I have a table covered in plastic here to keep it from uh, getting wet. Um, there's my my wheel. Uh, it's the same as what we've got in the studio. I love it. It's a little dirty. My apologies, but uh, it's a working wheel. So that's what I've been doing for a while. Um, in the back here, you can see some of the things that I have been um, working on. Um, I have been using, um, let's see if I can get that. I've been using some um, uh, colored clay um, it's called agate wear and this one actually has you can't really see it very well This one has uh, speckled brownstone clay little loafers and then little loafers Colored with blue Mason stain. I don't know if you can see that it hasn't been fired yet um, But I am taking the time to experiment with this stuff So we'll have some fun things to do back in the studio if you'd like Here we have my very crowded workstation. Um, I have everything here from my banding wheel to um, stamps to books to all sorts of tools and brushes. Over here I have my very um, coveted uh, wedging table. I love this thing. Um, the hubby got it for me as a gift and I am quite grateful. He has been very generous. Um, and you can see my clay poster in the background. Uh, this banding, this uh, wedging table actually has a wire that you can cut right built into it. Um, let's take you around to what hot water heaters, all that stuff. There's my grapevine pottery. Somebody painted that for me, a friend's daughter. I love it, Sydney. Thank you. Um, and over here, I've got, I store all my bisque pieces, a lot that I will probably never glaze. I don't know why I keep them. Uh, you probably familiar with why I keep uh, bisque stuff. Um, and some things that I just need to get to. Um, my teapot that I did in the studio. Um, some other things, berry bowls. And those are some ritual uh, wine goblets. And here we've got I've got all of my glaze. Can you see all that? That's my stockpile of glaze, guys. Um, I've spent a lot of money on this stuff, and more recently, I've ordered from Clay King. Um, Clay King's shipment, uh, shipping costs are kind of expensive, but let me tell you, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So over here, <coughs> excuse me, um, I've got all of my uh, old pieces that um, I'm just kind of storing on shelves uh, right in the middle of my garage. 
um, some things that just haven't sold and uh, I've got two full shelves of these things. Uh, some things that, you know, were a little wonky or the glaze just didn't come out perfect. Um, and then some things up here. Here you can see the more of those animal print mugs that are just yummy. I am just in love with those things. Oh, that's a broken mug. Um, anyway, so here we've got, I've got my, uh, this is what I have as a damp box, guys. This is a greenhouse. It was very inexpensive. And um, sometimes I use it, and most of the time I just use it for storage of stuff, but um, I know I have it. And uh, over here, you can see I've got boxes filled with pottery. Um, that's where I store all of my uh, finished pieces, ready to go to market or for sale or whatever. Um, so that's it. And uh, yeah, so that's my studio, guys. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. You can hear the birds chirping. I am blessed, let me tell you. Um, I know that I don't want to make you all jealous, but this is my life right now, and uh, I'm lonely. So contact me if you feel like you want to. Um, it's, it makes it easier to have uh, friends uh, to talk to um, or just to ask or share knowledge. I'll be sending out some videos that I think maybe you might want to take a look at and check out. There's a lot of stuff online. Um, for those of you who are not in the know, I will send out some things. Um, back to my kiln again. And um, uh, if you haven't already, and if you're interested, um, you might want to share some of your uh, videos uh, or, excuse me, some of your creative out outlets uh, that you've been um, having a lot of time to do. Um, Please join us on our Miriam's Mudslingers Facebook group if you at all are inclined. And you can share with us some fun things that you might be doing. It doesn't have to be clay related. It can be anything. Keep it clean, keep it non-political, and we'll be good. All right, guys, I really hope to see you soon. I miss you all, really. Um, stay creative, stay, stay, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay home. Um, sending out hugs. Take care, everybody. I will see you soon. Bye.